Hello and welcome to another Electric World video featuring the latest news about EV World. This time, we would be discussing updates on Tesla's battery and gigafactories. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. It helps you get notified when we post more content just like this. Let's get started. Every year in September, Tesla hosts its annual Battery Day event, which discusses the latest technological advancements in batteries, as well as the Tesla universe as a whole. Musk announced in September that he wants to put a $25,000 electric vehicle on the road, but he also unveiled the 4,680 battery cell. Musk called it a breakthrough, and now Panasonic, a manufacturer of electronics and batteries says it will be the best manufacturer to bring them to the market. However, it would be more complicated than their previous orders. In an interview with Bloomberg, Panasonic's EV battery chief, Yasuaki Takamoto, said, Producing these larger cells requires you raise your craftsmanship one or two full levels or there will be safety issues. The company's time-tested safety management processes unquestionably offer us an advantage here. The new batteries are five times the size of the old ones, around the size of an aluminum pop can, which means fewer parts will be needed to make battery packs. Any additional component is an additional potential for failure. The average EV has 4,000 to 8,000 cells, which could be reduced to 500. All of this means lower cost EVs for us. The sooner we get a sub 30K Tesla Model 3, the better. According to Panasonic, the size of the batteries makes them more difficult to produce. Because of being difficult to cool the center of the big cell, they are more often overheating. They're also more susceptible to the contamination that can cause a fire. If small pieces of metal get inside, it could cause the battery to short circuit. As Musk complained on battery day, Panasonic has been slow to scale up. That's why he wants Tesla to develop its own. Panasonic, on the other hand, claims it just wants its safety in order. Takamoto said, the same know-how that lets Panasonic produce 2.5 billion cells a year without major safety issues gives it an advantage in producing the bigger cells. Tesla is currently in discussions with other battery manufacturers, and Panasonic has said that it will sell the batteries to other automakers. Musk said at a European battery conference in November that the new battery had been manufactured at a benchtop stage, and that Tesla was aiming at pilot plant level next. But he did admit that scaling up the manufacturing process is a much bigger step. This is all good news. Cheaper battery systems and fewer parts mean cheaper electric vehicles. However, it may take a few years to see these new cells. Another huge news is that Taiwan joins the Gigafactory Club. Taiwan Cements intends to build a 350 million US dollar electric vehicle battery factory in southern Taiwan. The 1.8 GW facility would manufacture nickel ternary batteries with a high charge discharge rate. Taiwan Cement Corporation, Taiwan's largest cement company, plans to invest 352 million US dollars in the development of a battery factory in Kaohsiung. Taiwan's largest city. The expected capacity is 1.8 GW, according to the company, equivalent to the volume of long distance batteries required for the annual production of 24,000 electric vehicles. In addition to this, the factory will be operated by eMoli, which already has a storage system factory in Taiwan with a capacity of 1.5 GW. The new facility will produce high charge discharge nickel lithium ion ternary batteries, also known as super batteries, according to the manufacturer. With the development of the super battery, in the future there might be a chance to break through these conventional connectivity solutions and create infinite possibilities. TCC chairman Nelson Chang said, In Europe, several gigafactory developments are currently underway. 
Northvolt, a Swedish battery maker, plans to build two manufacturing facilities in Sweden and Poland. In the German state of Lower Saxony, the company is also preparing a 50-50 joint venture with Volkswagen to build another 16 GWH battery cell factory. In addition, Italvolt, an Italian startup, plans to construct a 4 billion euro, 4.7 billion US dollar, EV battery manufacturing plant. The factory's initial capacity is estimated to be 45 GWH, and the site for the factory is currently being identified. Tesla is building another gigafactory near Berlin, Germany, and Vercor, a French battery cell manufacturer, is planning one in Rodez, about 150 kilometers northeast of Toulouse. Besides that, with the help of the Spanish government, SEAT and Iberdrola plan to construct an EV battery manufacturing facility in Barcelona. Another big news is that Tesla sales increased 80% in Germany ahead of the Berlin factory boost. According to new estimates released by the Federal Motor Transport Authority, Tesla revenues in Germany increased by more than 80% in the first quarter of 2021 compared to the same period of 2020. Germany is finally establishing itself as a leader in the transition to electromobility. EV sales in Germany are improving the European market, which has seen almost 750,000 EVs sold in the last 12 months, even though it is still well behind Norway, which is now the world leader by share, with more than half of all car sales in March being all electric. Volkswagen is now responsible for a large portion of Germany's EV revenue, with its recent five-door, five-seat hatchback, the ID3, leading year-to-date sales at 10,000 units in February. However, Tesla, which will begin producing electric cars at its soon-to-be-completed Berlin Gigafactory in July, is not far behind having risen to second place in February and delivering over 6,000 new vehicles to their owners by the end of March. Tesla began shipping its mass market Model 3 from California to Germany and the rest of Europe in early 2019, but has since returned to sourcing the Model 3 from its Shanghai factory. And it seems to be paying off given the jump in sales, showing that German drivers are satisfied with the build quality coming out of Shanghai although they will soon be producing Tesla cars in Berlin. More specifically, the Berlin Gigafactory will first concentrate on the Model Y electric crossover, which expects to produce at a rate of 500,000 units per year until it reaches maximum capacity using eight massive Gigapress casting machines. It is now available for order in Germany, unlike Australia, starting at 59,600 euro, but Tesla does not register a sale until the vehicle is delivered. As drivers who have already placed orders for a locally made Tesla electric crossover SUV begin to receive their cars, the impressive 80% increase from 2020 could grow even further. But there is some problem with Giga Berlin. Bloomberg announced Thursday that Tesla blasted the lengthy process in a letter to a Berlin regional court. According to the report, Tesla said it's irritating that it hasn't been granted a deadline for final approval 16 months after applying. Tesla broke ground on the factory in June 2020, with hopes to begin production in July 2021. The plant has been constructed with provisional approvals rather than full permission. If the local government agrees not to give Tesla final permission for any reason, an unlikely scenario given the official backing Tesla has received in Germany thus far, the car maker would be on the hook for demolishing the plant. Tesla criticized officials in its letter for hampering development in renewable energy and climate-friendly infrastructure. Tesla is currently the leader in electric vehicle production in a global auto market, but the market is still overwhelmingly dominated by combustion engine cars. Tesla said in the letter, This discourages necessary investments in clean energy projects and infrastructure and makes it practically impossible for Germany to achieve its climate goals. 
Construction at Gigafactory Berlin has come under a lot of criticism since it started in 2020. According to a German media report in December, Tesla had to halt construction after missing a deadline to make a 100 million euro security deposit. Giga Berlin is very important for Tesla's European strategy because Tesla plans to produce 500,000 electric vehicles annually there. The increased capacity would be a big help as Tesla tries to keep up with extremely powerful EV competitors, the most dangerous of which is commonly thought to be Volkswagen of Germany. That was all for today and the latest news we knew about Tesla. And thanks for watching the video. If you want to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla's next projects and Elon Musk or electric vehicles, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. And don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video if you liked it and subscribe to our Electric World channel for daily content just like this.